Good morning. Happy New Year. It's Pastor Al. I'd like to speak to you just for a moment about what we call our tithing challenge. We would like to challenge you to think about for six months giving your first 10% to the Lord. That's what a tithe means. And we're going to ask you to look at this form here and fill it out and put it in the basket today. Many of you were faithful in doing this last year and I want to thank you. Your gifts meant so much to this ministry. Some of you have thought about it. What better time than the start of a new year? To me, this is the way to get your finances in order. You put God first and God will help you throughout the year. If you try this, you believe you made a mistake, come back to us. We'll be happy to give you your money back. But you would start actually in February. It would run to the end of July and we'd like to challenge you to try. God says, put me to the test. Try God out. Give to the Lord and see if the Lord will not take care of you. Thank you. God bless you. Good morning, Oasis. My name is Sophia Daly and I want to take the time to invite everyone out to our open house on January 19th or 26th in the new building from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Everyone is encouraged to invite their friends, family, co-workers, and neighbors to this event. In addition, the night of dedication has been postponed until further notice. Have a blessed Sunday. Good morning, Oasis. My name is Beth Breams, and I am here representing the Oasis World Team. One of the goals of our team is to bring you monthly updates about missions around the world that individuals and families in our congregation are supporting. This month I'd like to share with you about a ministry that Pastor Al and I have been supporting for the past several years. It's the Ugandan Orphanage Relief Fund. Uganda is a country in Africa with great beauty, but it also has great poverty and disease. And because of that disease, 2.2 million children have been orphaned in this country. Why don't you see if you can make a difference for these children by giving a donation to this organization or perhaps sponsoring a child. You can stop by the map out in the foyer today to pick up a brochure if you're interested in knowing more about this ministry. See if the Holy Spirit is prompting you and your family to support this ministry or one of the other missions around the world. Thank you. Hey, Andrew. What's up? Um, were you in service today? Yeah, I was in there for first. Why? What's up? Man, I was going over the bullet points, and I didn't understand point two. Oh. Well, actually, um, if you look at this blue packet of Bible studies, there's a list of Bible studies that we have, and there's actually one right here for a sermon discussion where you talk about the sermon. Whoa, so I see that they have them on... Sundays at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. And if I can't make Sunday, there's also two on Wednesday that meet at 7 p.m. Yep. One at Pastor Al's home and the one there one at Ruth Bayless home. Yep. And if I can't make those, there's also one Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Exactly. Okay, so this is going to, what are we going to do in this group? Basically, you guys just talk about the sermons for a better understanding of it. Wow, that seems pretty amazing. It's awesome. I'm going to try and make this. Go for it. All right. So if you have questions about the sermon, if something was confusing to you, or you just want to get a better understanding of it, we really recommend this ministry for you. Good morning, Oasis. This is Joe. Here, here for an announcement for our, the men in our church. Have you recently came to Christ? Or are you a college student looking to get an edge on the Christian life? Or are you an older Christian who needs to be refreshed? Well, I'd like to challenge you to come to our Men's Power Weekend, which will be happening February 1st through the 3rd. And the theme of it is called Men Renewed. It will be held at the Oakland Christian Center in Yucaipa, California, where we'll have powerful worship, powerful speakers who will speak into our, the areas of our lives and, la and ultimately powerful fellowship that's going to sharpen us and reignite us to live the Christian life. Now if you're between the ages of 18 and 99, I want to encourage you to go to our men's table, to sign up and to take a step of faith to get resharpened and get reignited again. Or for those of you to come here to know what it is to get the edge on the Christian life. Thank you.
morning oasis, adult volunteers are needed to look after the infants in our nursery ministries. If you are interested, please sign off the tear-off sheet. Thank you.